Looks like pictures of the exaltation chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd. Well, imagine if it was Scott. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was. well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong, smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. What do you mean they're missing? They didn't leave voluntarily. No work assignments, no mining expeditions, kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Kadar is a lifesaver. I'd promised some people some things I wasn't sure I could get. Turns out I can get them all on Kadara. Funny how things work out. I'm just relieved that they didn't die out there without Nexus support. Throwing people off the boat was hard, but Nexus leadership was desperate. Wasn't a great choice. Lose some people, or lose everything. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Looks like no one's home. I swear if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to drill her shin plates. on you? Sorry. Ah, Nyx. So good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. That's even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. You help them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. I need to know what you've been doing and who you've pissed off. 
I don't know who that was or what she was talking about. I know better than to... It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives, hiding in the outposts. You smuggled outlaws onto my outposts? Yeah, we made mistakes. Thanks to you, I got to see my family again. Look, I don't know you. I don't know any of you. I'm getting out of here. We've tried. There's no way out. There's always a way out. Yeah, I know. These people here think I helped them, and somehow Meriwether feels screwed over by it. You sure you don't know anything about what happened here? Ryder, I swear on my sister's life. I don't know what I did to put myself in Meriwether's crosshairs. How well do you know Meriwether? I've heard of her. A smuggler, not affiliated with either the Outcasts or Collective. Never did business with her myself. Kind of a loose cannon from what I've heard. What do you think Meriwether's planning? Looks like she was gunning for me. Use the people she thinks I helped as bait. If you ask me, she's planning to kill me. After a thorough interrogation, of course. Sounds like she wasn't expecting you. I try to get something out of the Nexus in exchange. We'll talk later. Focus on getting out of here. What I like to hear. Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? Uh, how did you... Think I don't recognize my own tricks? And stop using my voice. Sorry. It was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. You know, because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid's sister. Messing with Kadara gangs? She put people in real danger. It'll never happen again, I swear. I just wanted to help. All Galloway and his lot wanted was a new start. Enough. Your ass is getting in a shuttle and booking it back to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder? She's your sister. Great. Thanks for the backup. Fine, Sid. You can help, but follow my instructions and don't get creative. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. I can hear. I think I gotta... Oh no! Sid! Sid, come in! They found her. They're gonna kill her! Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid. So, so stupid. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes. It takes you out, too. You won't let that happen. Petra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Come on, that's a kid you got there. She's not a threat. Let her go. She hacked my security. She's as tall as you are. Guns on the ground. So this is what you're all about? Kidnapping? Threatening children? That's what you came to Helios for? You can still do what's right. Turn off the explosive. There's no right or wrong anymore. Just survival. <sighs> Thank you.
Are you all right? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. <sighs> I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought... I can do that. I can help. That's not your decision to make, Sid. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. That was intense. Are you alright? Fine. I just need some time to think. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks for helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? Damn it, Sid. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. Pulled from storage. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. She just doesn't think. Tries to help everyone, damn the consequences. And she thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. Because what we do is exciting. We make people's lives better. You make it sound so wonderful. We see some real shit. But we don't quit because what we do matters. It does, doesn't it? Even on the worst days, knowing we make a difference. To make a difference is probably all Sid wants. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? Whatever happens, I'm here for the both of you. I care about Sid, because I care about you. Ryder, I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. How about I let you get back to work? Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's top priority has always been her sister's safety. Now that Sid's growing up, their relationship is changing. It's not going to happen overnight, but they'll find a new rhythm. Difficult? I've seen you do things twice as complicated. You need to raid a cat base? I'll put together a crew in a heartbeat. But this is just... beyond me. Just do it, or I'll find someone who will. You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the Ket activity's down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The Ket can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing Ket over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments. Cora, her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt-naked Asari for the stand, and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp. The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over, after everything you've been through? I don't know. The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. 
Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. I think my dream is finding someone special to explore the galaxy with. Oh. And have you found that person? I'm pretty sure I have. You'll love her. She's tall, great with guns, and getting people to do what she wants. <laughs> I feel like things are finally going our way, for real. Getting the Solarians back, that's huge. I just wish we didn't have to sacrifice so many for it. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. And no jump jets. We're doing it the old-fashioned way. What do I get if I win? What would you like? The bad guy defeated, a magic sword, and the girl. Good thing you're losing then. I don't have a magic sword. Having fun? You look like you're having fun. Hey, is this real? Yeah, I think the sky's real. No, this, how you are towards me. It's like you care more than a friend. I don't mind if it's no. I just want to be sure it gets messy otherwise. I do care about you. More than a friend. Really? I didn't want to assume. Seems so unlikely. Me, you. And how's that for proving it? I'm convinced. <laughs> 